editable poly edit geometry rollout constraints button. Let's start by creating a cylinder. And I'll create a cylinder here. And I'm going to right click and convert it to an editable poly. Now, I'm going to come down in here and pick in my sub objects. I'll go to poly. And if I come down to my into my edit geometry. So I'm going to have to scroll down here a little bit so here we can see this. So I'm in edit geometry. Right here we have constraints. By default there is no constraints. And constraints uh, define the existing geometry to constrain sub-object transformations. So uh, let's try each one here. So if I pick on an edge and I pick on a particular edge then uh, on a, I'm picking on a polygon but I'm constraining it by the edge now I'm gonna go up and choose select and move for example and now you can see the effect of this uh, is constraining it by the edges alright so I'm constraining it by the edges now I'm gonna change it to the face and when I ch change it to the face, you can see that it constrains it slightly different. Okay, so I'm holding the face. Uh, and if I change it to normal, now I'm actually holding the face. I mean, holding the, the normal. Remember, what is the normal? The normal is the perpendicular to the surface, pointing outwards. So I'm con controlling it by the perpendicular to this surface which points outwards so then I can I can't change it going up and down but I can change it going in and out and I can't change it sideways I'm just making it larger so you can see by the various constraints by the normal by the face we get different results even using the same tool with the same selection so the constraints uh, are used to define the existing geometry to con constrain sub-object transformations or edits.